Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're gonna make some DIY embellishments. We're going to use up scraps that I had left from the Warehouse Box Buzz series where I started with the, where the Warehouse Box papers, kits, I went through that. We did layouts. From that, I took the leftovers of that and I made base pages. And then from that, I am going to take the scraps left over from the scraps and I'm going to make ephemera to go with those base pages. Last week I made ephemera for this one. I did scallops on this one and we beefed this up a little bit. I did um, butterflies and tags on this one and I don't know what we're going to do for these last two layouts but I am going to try to use up what I have. I still have a sticker sheet. I still have some chipboard and some bits and pieces from this line. <clears throat> now this is, um, I have some words. This was actually from the Cocoa Vanilla, but I thought maybe I could use some of these um, words left. This is the way I like to entirely use a collection. Now, it is a way to keep yourself, um, how should I put this, interested in what you have already. It's a great way to not continue to spend use up everything and not have a little bit of this collection, a little bit of that collection, um, use it all the way through. I really almost bought another one of these collections and I thought, no, I'm not gonna do that. I am going to use it up, add to it, beef it up if I need to, as much as I can. And then if I'm still in love with that collection, I probably need to buy another one. I'm not there yet, I'm not done, but we'll see where this ends. So let's have some fun. And let's just see where we're going. So these are the, all the papers I have left. I have my branding strips left. Um, this is from the Simple Vintage Weathered Garden um, from Simple Stories. I have this paper, which some of these papers might be papers that I put in with the collection to create my layouts. And from there, the base pages onward and onward. And I will put everything in the description box below, as I always do. So when you're giving this a thumbs up, which I so much appreciate, it really, really does mean a lot to me. And um, just hit that little arrow and you will see all the links. You can click it and you will be able to see where I started and where I'm at now, okay? So we have this paper left, which is just one-sided. We have this one left, which is from the collection. I have this one left, which I cut some scallops out of last week, and there's the B side. A little bit of wood grain with some ledger on the back. Another piece of this, I think we have a few pieces of this. Let's see here. This is what I cut the tags out of. It's just one-sided. Um, this was left in there. I was gonna use it, and then I used my, um, if you guys have never used one of these little powder tools so that's not sticky anymore from EK Success, um, you should get one. It comes in handy. And I know it has that on there, but maybe I can use the end or something. You guys know me. I save everything. We got some cut aparts. There's a B side. I think I might do, oh my gosh, something with the cut aparts. So I'm going to set that here. Um, A and B. These are all these scraps. Same, same paper here. Let's see, here's another one. Some of the green. Another piece of that gingham. This was one I threw in, another piece of the gray. So you see, I still have quite a bit, quite a bit. This is just a close to my heart paper. Um, another piece of that gray, and then some more cut aparts uh, with the B side. And I really like these journal blocks. If you watch me, you know, I kind of on purpose cut my paper so I could save this one in particular. All right, and then here's my base pages. I'm going to create two little, oh, I don't know, little little embellishment kits, if you will, for a lack of a better way to say it, um, for these two layouts. And we're gonna concentrate on one. I think I will go with this one and just kind of decide from there. I'm looking at these journaling things and I'm thinking maybe, what if I were to take this one and then I have this one too. So what if I were to take these two blocks and embellish them and allow them to be a kickoff point for my embellishment. And I'll, I try to do it in sets of three. So I'll try to come up with something as we're going, right? I like this one a lot. 
because it has this odd color. This is a hard color to match. So I think I wanna go in this direction and then this again has that color. So I am going to cut these apart, gather up a few supplies and I will be right back and we'll just create some squares. We'll just make some cluster squares if you will, whatever, we'll see where it goes. I'll be right back. So I've dumped all my ephemera that I had left over out of the baggie into my little caddy here. And you guys, I just got this at the Dollar Tree. I like it because it has a non-stick inside. And then here I have my white one next to me. On the bottom, they have little non-stick and they're a buck. Like, and they're heavy plastic. They're not the cheapo ones. Um, so definitely um, if you just want, I have like three or four of them and I have projects that I sit in them. I just pick this up, throw my scissors and stuff in there. I go out to the living room. You never know where I'm going to end up. My husband's like, why do we have a desk for you? Why did I build that? Well, because I want to sit with you too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I have this one and this one that I cut out. So I'm thinking I like to do sets of three. This one is a little larger. This one is a little smaller. I like that the date is on here because I don't know what I'm going to scrap, but we always put a date on it, right? Um, we will embellish, in the, embellish these up. And then I'm thinking I need to pick a paper out of my scraps and cut a smaller one. This one's obviously three by four. I measured this one, it's an odd size. It's like four by three and a half. I mean, let's, let's put them next to each other. Yeah, I mean, that's about what it is. I, look, it's not even quite four long. It's, it's strange, it's a strange size, but that's okay. Maybe I cut it, I don't even remember. I don't know why it would be that size. So let's, I don't think I want to do a solid. I do think I want to continue with the floral. Now that might work. That might work. Let's see here. Not a solid. I don't want, I mean, I do have this and the B side is this. So this could work too. And maybe some ephemera. Hmm. We could even do this, right? Cause that is a small piece. I'm thinking maybe that's what I'll go with. Now the question is, do I want this side or do I want this side? I think I'm gonna go with this side just because at this point it's a little bit of everything. So I do think I'm gonna go with that side. Okay, so I always seem to think small, medium, large, right? Big cluster, little cluster. And who knows, I might put these all together and I might end up making one ginormous cluster. <laughs> yeah, a new word again. <laughs> So let's, um, I bet this is two inches wide if I'm just guessing, it is. So let's go two by three. Yeah, let's just do that. So this will end up being my small one. And I'm even wondering, what if I double do them here? Double, double deckers? <laughs> Isn't that a bus? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep this on the side. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I am thinking I need to map that though. I already can tell I'm not gonna like it unless I do. And I did have other papers. I did, I did. I have more of that. I'm just digging through my scraps, rambling, and I appreciate you being here listening to my ramble. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this corner though because it has smaller. Okay, so I know it's two by three, so I'm going to cut basically matting my square. That's all I'm doing here. I'm going to do two and a quarter. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Two and a quarter, and this goes over here by three and a quarter. That goes here. Okay. And I'm sorry if you couldn't see me cut that. Okay, so I'm going to temporary, and when you're making ephemera for me, I mean, this is just my suggestion. There's no wrong way. You can do this however you wish, okay? But I tend to um, temporary most things. Now, I am going to embellish these, so I don't know how that's gonna end up. I'm a permanent, but in general like this, what if I decide I wanna tuck something in here? 
So I will temporary adhese it. Adhese it, adhese it. I don't know, put, put sticky stuff on it. <laughs> oh, now is that hard to see? Maybe I should get out a white scrap. I think this is actually off-white, but that, maybe that's a little better to see. Okay, so I'm thinking what I wanna do is just dig through my ephemera and beef these up. That's, that's my thought process. Over here to the side, I do have my base page. I have no idea how these are gonna work on here. I honestly do not, but I do know that it'll match. So I don't really need to stress more than anything. I wanna play, right? So what if I were to take this and put moments across here? That would be a good general um, title, right? This could almost be a title. Um, I could do it across here. I'm liking it across here. I feel like it ties the three of them together. So I am gonna put it on wax paper till I'm 100% sure. When I'm sure, sure, I'll stick it down, okay? So I'm thinking that might go up on foam, just like that, on there. And let's see if we can't maybe, you know, I, I'm creating a thing for clusters, so I could always use um, these. Now these are two different flowers. What do we got here? They're these ones, not these, on these. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at what I already have. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm, I'll pause this because I don't think you guys wanna sit here and watch me go through every single one of these. I'm gonna separate the flowers because then I know I can just throw these in the kit and who knows, maybe I'll just do a bunch of layers of flowers on there, I'm not sure. But just hold on one sec and I will sort this out. So I've sorted it. These are the pieces that match the florals in the papers that I have. So these I'm just going to set aside. I don't think I'll be using them. And sometimes elimination when you have a lot helps, right? So that's what I am doing. You'll see that this flower is in here, but also this smaller one. And I'm not going to embellish these three with all of these flowers. That's not going to happen. But what is going to happen is I am going to create a little baggie and I will washi tape it to the, the base page like I did the other ones. And then all I have to do is pick a photo. It's ready to go. Okay, so let's concentrate on this one. All right, so this is the moth, AKA butterfly. <laughs> It's a whole debate <laughs> that is on the paper. Um, this one is also, and I think, hang on, I think I had a chipboard of that one as well. So we'll throw that in there. There's just one. So that is why I have these pulled out. And I think it would be a good idea to do this. Now this one um, is the one I said, right? Right? <laughs> this one? Um, let's just beef this one up. I could easily do something as simple Let's put that on there and give it that dimension. And I like that, I, I truly do. I know that there are also some um, little ones of this flower. Let's see, we could do a bigger one even and maybe layer them. And there's nothing saying I can't take a pair of scissors to these and, you know, go to town, I can. And sometimes that is exactly what I do, and I think I'm going to. So let me grab my fussy cutting scissors. Did they missed appear on me? Let's see, I'm gonna pull my whole, I have these hanging on my wall right above me. They're just little Ikea things I used to have in my kids' crafts room. My daughter, she says she doesn't want them anymore, and I was like, oh, I'll use them. So they're just hanging on the wall right above me, and I'm just going to, fussy cut the leaves off of here. Now, I am gonna set these aside because who knows, I might use them. I'm going to also take this off of here. So just like that, I'm going to do that. And I think I'm just gonna try to layer these and then I'll put this on top. So, um, let's see here. Now this is not this flower, I know, but it is this one and it is on this one here. So let's 
go like this. And I do think I'm going to ink them. And like this. Whoops, come here. And let's see, this is the best side, like that. And then I will put this over it just like that. Okay, and then I think I will get some little yellow. I'm gonna go with yellow gems and I will put in the center of these flowers. Done, so let's do that. Okay, so let me get out my inking little dauber for my finger and my favorite brown. You guys know what that already is. It's the Oxide from Tim Holtz, the brushed corduroy. I'm gonna have to suck it up and order either a replacement ink or a new pad. And I'm doing this because it will come off somewhat this color. I'll show you here. I cannot pick things up. Filed my nails this morning. I the, guess they're not sharp. See how that kind of has that brownish yellow color still? So that's why I'm doing that. And it will give this a little more dimension even than it's already there. I'm going to gently go in that corner there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I've had some of the best comments lately. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to write me a little comment. It just makes my day. I can't say that enough. I know I say it a lot, but I truly, it, it really does make my heart happy to know that people enjoy just the little craziness I put out in the world. <laughs> it is crazy too, isn't it? Okay, so that's, I'm good with that. I'll take my glue, which it's pretty cold. I didn't warm it up. So hopefully, I promise, I'm not going to throw nothing across the room. <laughs> hmm, if you're new here, watch some of my videos. Some crazy stuff goes down. Okay, so I won't need that to be sticky, but that's okay. I just won't press it down. Should have paid more attention. And I'm kind of spreading these out a little bit more because I know I want to put gems on them. I think it'll just kind of give it a little something. We all need a little bling in our life, right? I know I do. And I'm pretty sure this chipboard is sticky. It is. But I still add a tiny bit of glue because I don't trust the sticky. I just don't. And I'm going to leave myself room for the gems. And just like that, there we go. Now, I will grab my color drawer. Miss um, Kelly, she um, had color drawers and I asked her where she got them and I'm so excited because now I have all kinds of little bits right next to me. And I like it. Now, do I have some smaller? I might have to get out my actual enamel dots. I think I'm gonna have to. Let me grab those, but those are right next to me too. I'm not, this is a little bit bright. So let's see here. Not yellow, not yellow. <laughs> the last one I look at, you know that's true. Why does that happen? I'm not finding ones that I like. <sighs> the drama. It's always a little something. I wonder if I should use black. Maybe I should just use nothing and wait. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do have these brown ones too. These little off, these ones, those would work good. Okay, not even gonna do yellow. See, squirrel. That's what happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I am going to do these brown ones. I'm liking these darker ones, and I just have a few anyway, so we'll just use them. Now, when I put my things in my baggie, like I did last time, I if I have any of these left, I will put them in there, and I can see that I do. I actually have a whole sheet of them, so that worked out really good. And I will put them in there. So then I'll have the same enamel dots to put on my layout. Now, if I didn't, I would just find some that are close. Would not stress myself out. I get my enamel dots from Gina Marie. You get like a lot for $2 and I think it's 50 cents or something like that. I'll put that link below too, because yeah, it is a good, good buy. In fact, let's just pull that one out and that one. Although I do wish that she well, I don't even know it's a she, it's the company, but I sure wish that they had just a solid sheet of black. That's it, you didn't have to buy multicolor, just a solid sheet of black, that would make me happy. I tend to use black enamel dots a lot, and they're expensive, so that's definitely 
definitely something you should check out. Even if you don't like me, go check that out. You'll save money. All right, so that one is done. Okay, there's one block and I'm gonna set it over here. Okay, my whole, my husband, this used to be our school desk and so there's holes for the chargers. <laughs> Gotta make sure nothing falls down in there, right? Okay, now let's work on this one. I wanna leave the date for sure. I don't know that I want this. I think I'm gonna beef this up with a couple of these, maybe a big one. That one's big. This one's big. Ooh, I kinda like this one better. Save this for tucking because that's what I'll do, right? Okay, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna put that there. And I don't know if I wanna do a moth, a fly, butterfly. Yeah, I'm never gonna do it right. It's never gonna come out right. Or if I just want to maybe, ooh, I have this one. It's the postage stamp of that. That's cool. I like that. All right, so there's nothing saying I can't go off the edge here. And just like that, have the date and I need to cover this up so we'll layer something else. I'll find something else to stick in there. Ooh, I could do, no, it's chipboard with chipboard. That's too much chipboard for me. I, I struggle to use it as it is. I'm not gonna push my luck. Okay, I'm liking that. I need another one to make it look right, I think. I could even cut this off. And I just alter it, use what I have, it's what I'm doing. I'll ink all of these when the time comes. I think I'm gonna put this one up on foam, but I need to maybe cut something here. Yeah. Are all these that have that flower just big one at my chipboard? Come on. Jeez, it's starting to drive me crazy. Can't grab nothing. Well. I think I'm gonna cut this flower off. I'm gonna put instead of this one. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I talk to myself. But in my mind, I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> like, that's just funny. Oh, sorry. That's funny. Okay, I think that's, I'm gonna go with that. I will put this one up on phone. So let's just, now let's ink it first. I have to think here. Got a little crazy with that one, but that's all right. That one. And then this one. I love this color. It just gives it that vintage-y, which that's this whole line, right? It's all vintage. I wonder if I could. Oh, I can, look at that. It's just thick paper, right? I don't really want it on the front, but I like the thought of it being around the edge. There we go. Oh, changed the look of that, didn't it? I learned something new. Okay, and then this one. No. I gotta mop my floors later today. <sighs> it's never ending, but you know what? I don't want carpet, so I never complain to my husband that I have to mop. Okay, that's not totally true. I'm telling a little white lie. I do, but not any more than, you know, complaining about doing dishes. <laughs> you know, it's never ending. And with the dust in Texas, oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna take and gently across the top. I just wanna give it a little bit. I wanna pull this color in more because that's what's on my base page is this main color over here. So I'm just gonna dirty it up, so to speak, a little bit. Even on this big flower, I think I want to. Look how that changed that whole thing. Okay, so oh, now I forgot how I was gonna have it. Like this, right? All right. I am going to permanent glue this down because I'm not going to change this. And even if I decide not to use it when I do the layout, I'll just put it in my binder and use it at another time because it's pretty. All right. Then I will have this one. Okay, 
right here. Okay, then I said this one here, right? And I'll put that one up on thumb. So peel the back off. And <laughs> you like them sound effects? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me get my little foamy squares. And I will take this put the lid on this before I have an accident because it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I'm gonna need more than one. And that last one there should be pretty easy. Now I'm gonna have to cut this one a little bit off. Just a tad. Okay. Put this back on here so I don't lose it and get it stuck somewhere. All right, so all I'm doing is just playing trial and error. That's how I roll with my layouts, with my ephemera. Sometimes it goes easy, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it works out. Okay, so now do I want to put enamel dots inside of the little flowers? Hmm, what would that look like? Oh, that would look good. Okay, yep. So I will put one here, one here. I don't think I'm gonna put one, should I put, I don't know, we'll test that too. All right, let's put a big one here because I'm always looking for a way to get rid of those bigger ones. A medium one here. And what if I put a tiny one there and just called it good? I mean, that doesn't look bad though. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I am. I'm not going to put a tiny one on there because um, you know what? I can use another big one. That looks good. Okay. So there's that one. Let me put my lid on here and we'll do this last one and then I'll clean up this mess and we'll, I'll baggy it up. Okay. And we'll move on to the next one. I'm wondering though, if I shouldn't edge these, I think I'm going to. Okay. Pull this out. Is that just the ones I cut? It is. This will be a good time for some Patsy Klein. Oh, does anybody else like Patsy Klein? Or some Winona and Judd. Uh, she's my all time. Well, Dolly Parton and her. But my love for Dolly Parton stems from my childhood, really, because that's who my daddy loved. And that's my love of country music comes from my father. So, okay. Yeah, needed to do that. Just edging these. I'm kind of surprised they don't have more of an edging to them just because it's a vintage line, right? All of these lines. But boy, when you edge them, whew, it just brings them together, I think. Okay, see how much different that looks? All right, so there's that one. There's that one, done and done. Um, you know what I should have done? I should have edged this before I stuck it on here. See, this is why you do it temporary. I'm gonna do that right now because I already know that's what I'm gonna want. And I am going to put that title on there. I don't have to use it if I decide I want something else, but I am going to put that on there. I'm thinking one of the moths is going to go on there and some flowers. Yeah. Just pull it all together. I really want this one dirtied up to pull that color in some more. Okay. So let's go like that. I don't have a happy accident. Sad accident, whichever way. And I just eyeball it, y'all. I'm not. You gotta know by now I am not perfect. I don't pretend to be perfect. I don't even try. <laughs> nope, don't even try. Okay, so do I want this on foam? I don't think I do because I think I'm going to use this chipboard. And I think I'm going to use another one of these big... Okay, how can I do this? I don't know if the chipboard's going to work because I kind of want to tuck it behind there. That's okay. I can leave it for just the baggie. See, like that. And maybe we'll use one of, oh, give us that, give us that. Maybe I'll use 
this big flower. Hmm. All right. Let's build this by golly. I'm going to stick this behind there. It's cardstock, so it'll come back off if I need it to. I think I need to ink all of them for sure. Like that. And then... I still want to almost use one of these. <gasps> no, that's too many. Well, no, that's too big. This needs to be smaller. We're going for smaller. Maybe just the butterfly? This up on foam, or should I use this one and just let it hang over? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, there's a smaller one I could fussy cut. I don't know why I can't grab nothing. Oh, I could put that there. I like that. Just like that, actually. This is just kind of ginormous. Maybe I shouldn't put this on there at all. I'm kind of just liking that. That's it, right there. I'm gonna ink them, yep. And then we'll put some enamel dots inside it, the flowers. And we'll call it good because I don't want to I don't know what I'm gonna do it doesn't have to be you know the perfect cluster you guys have seen me use homemade ephemera before it's a base just like my page is a base this is just a base I will probably beef it up hence the reason I'll put these other like items and just build on it who knows I might add a little bow I don't know I might add twine I might who knows where it's gonna go I am seriously feeling some music. Would anyone be upset if I like played music during my videos? I mean, I talk loud enough. <laughs> it's not like you won't hear me. You totally would. <laughs> but then do I have to have a copyright? These are the questions that are going through my brain right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ginger. <laughs> this can't be normal. Care, though that's the thing like I don't care <laughs> oh my goodness 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 okay I know I had this behind here just like that okay and then I'm going to I think I'm gonna put this on foam yeah I am so let's figure out how this is gonna go on here thinking just like this okay So now I need to put a little glue on this, just this. I'm not going to put any glue in here because I can still tuck in there. And I maybe could, but I'm just gonna put a little bit so that it will stay because I don't trust these things. Okay, so I can still get back there if I want to tuck during using it. All right, I know I'm going to need an enamel dot there. And what did I do with them? They're right here. Let's use a medium size one for a medium flower, right? And then this one, I will use a little, little one. Let's use one of these. Maybe I can get rid of this piece of paper here. Okay. Just like that. A little foamy. And we'll have another one done. Maybe should have waited to put the enamel dot on, but that's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go just like that. And look at that. Can I take that off? I can. I left it on because I wasn't sure if maybe it would hang over and I'd use it on the layout, you know, on the back. It is, is it a little bit? So maybe I'll take this little piece here and put it right there, just in case. Okay. So there is, oh, it fell off. Well, it is what it is. So there's another one. So let's just baggy them all up. And then I will pause and clean up and, and um, yeah, get the other one out. I save all of my little baggies because, you know, why would I use new ones? I'm going to use more. That's how that one turned out. Oh, and I did ink that, so that's how that one is going to turn out. I'm a little worried about, I wonder if I could stick it on here. 
maybe would it stick no it's not gonna so it's not that sticky i don't need to worry about that okay so and then i'm gonna put all these bits inside of here i will put the enamel dots all on one sheet oh my gosh i can't grab anything all on one sheet and yeah i will get all this together baggy it up and i will get stuff for the other one and we'll start creating for the next week's page i'll be back to show you I, i'm sorry i'm back i wanted to show you look how these go well with this page now now granted i use leftovers from a kit so they were already matched up but this is what I mean. When you create a page kit and then you make a layout and you have your leftovers, then we created the base page. From those leftovers, I've created ephemera. And I decided to do blocks because I have a block, right? So I these would be so pretty. It, they're gonna be gorgeous on this page. This one can go here. You know, we could just do blocks if we wanted to. I could even beef that one up if I wanted to, like that, right? And then have my tiny little journaling, or I could do it like this over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, there's no way of me knowing. And then you could put a photo here, cause you could bring this up and just have one five by, uh, four by six in there. You could do three by fours. It is endless. I just wanted to show you these do work with this base page before I finish putting everything in the baggie. So now I really will clean up and come back. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm back. We have the next base right here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use up these branding strips and show you a way I like to make some ephemera. Now what I'm going to do, let's see here, let me pick up my mess here I got going on, is I'm going to make some uh, banners. And to do that, I'm gonna use my sticker sheet, whatever I have on here, I don't really know what I'm gonna use yet, and my ephemera and these. Now what I'm gonna do, let's see, this one matches really well. I'm gonna sit here and sort the ones that I think will work well. This one will, this definitely will. This one will, most of them will, but like this one, I'm not feeling that vibe. I could use the B side though, like that. I forget that they have a different one. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take these moths, no, butterflies, my <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna create some little clusters. Um, I think I may need to grab my circle punch or scallop punch. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I could go with this one also. All right, let's just start with this one. I'm just gonna kind of play. So I'm going to get a piece of wax paper. This is something that I haven't shown that I like to do. Okay, do I wanna use this one? I think I do. This butterfly matches what's on the paper pretty much. Whoops. Okay, so there's a piece of wax paper and I'm just doing that because this is sticky. Um, a card stock sticker. So I'm going to do that. Be in the happy moment. That's good. Um, now, can I use something off of here to layer? And hmm, maybe. We'll see. I'm not really seeing anything. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to create a thing of banners. I usually do them in sets of three. Let's just go with this since we already have this one anyway. This is the paper that is on the base page. And then let's use a dark one. No rhyme or reason. This is literally just mindless creating. I'm not being picky. I'm just having fun. So I am gonna set the base page aside so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, set that aside. And my idea is to create some banners and have them coming off of this way and then beef this up. This is a fairly large sticker, okay? And we're just gonna see what's gonna happen. I've got this one, I've got this one. Now, I will find a piece of scrap. Let's see where we're going here. 
we have dark green. I think I had some dark green scraps. I did. And because I can't cut straight to save my life, I'm going to use my cutter and I'm gonna cut this one one inch. The reason I'm gonna cut it so large is because I do want some contrast, okay? And now I'm just gonna sit here and fishtail them. Mm, looks about the middle to me, okay? Now once I have it, this one fishtailed, I'm going to tuck it underneath here. Okay. And I am going to take this and build, be, <laughs> oh my gosh, build off of it. So I'm going to go here. Now, if it sticks out a little bit over here, I'll cut it off later. I'm not going to stress about that. Oh, this must not be a, must have a white core in the paper there. Okay. And then this one. Okay. So let's fishtail this one. Make sure when you do do this that you're following and paying attention to your paper, that it's not directional. Don't be like me. Obviously, I know this for a reason, right? Okay, so I'm thinking I want to go like this. Okay, maybe even like that. All right, so from here... Again, I'm concentrating on this side. I'm not worrying about this one. I will cut off what I don't need when I get a decision made. And then last but not least, which one do I want in here? Do I want it to have that color in it? Like that? Or do I want it to go this way? Like that? I'm thinking this way. Okay, so I'm going to fishtail this one. And what I will do is I'll create three of them so that I have three base clusters, right? To start with, okay? I'll take this back off. And this one I am going to put there. Okay. Now the reason I use the sticker is because it's sticky and it will hold it there while I decide if I want it to be for real, real. Okay, and then this needs to come out of this, just like that. Okay, so I like that. I need to cut them all off so that they don't stick out on this side. And I'm also going to ink these three pieces. Now, you don't have to do it. You can do this however you want. We're just playing, right? And I'm gonna use black because these are darker colors. When I layer things and I don't feel like they are standing out enough, I just ink them. I ink them so that it just gives them a little bit of dimension. It's just what I like to do. Doesn't mean it's wrong, doesn't mean it's right. Just my way. Your way is wonderful for you, so do it your way by all means. And I think that will look better. I'm going to put a, yeah, do I want to put, I think I'm going to temporary do it because I'm not 100% sure, sure what else I may want to tuck. I like that like so. And then I know I want this other one like that. Just like so. There we go. Straighten it up a little bit. Just eyeballing it. And I'm gonna take my bigger scissors, not my fussy cutting ones, and I'm going to, boop. <laughs> Back with the sound effect. Okay, now I wanna take this. Now see the difference of that being inked? Okay, so then I know I have all these flowers over here. These are all of my flowers I have left which I think some flowers will be totally fine. And I'm gonna beef this one up, okay? I'm going to, I'm okay with the, the leaves standing out at the bottom, just like that. I'm gonna use a sticker, okay? 
just kind of press it together so like that and I'm thinking maybe I want some flowers over here do I have let me see what I have on my sticker sheet I need to use some of those elements up oh I think this one might work we'll see might even what if I went like this okay so I changed that to that can I even pop this out there more there we go Again, this is why I like using the sticker. And then I take this one and tuck underneath here, in between this and this. This is why I did not glue that, okay? There we go, I like that. I could put some enamel dots in there if I wanted to. Um, let's see here, what enamel should I go with green? I mean, that's green on green on green. Hmm, I don't know if I should go with green or not. Not sure if that's what I wanna do. I mean, I think this looks really well with this. I'm happy with the little cluster with the banners. Used up my scraps, so that makes me happy. I don't know. I think I'm going to choose, my first reaction is to put black enamel dots in there. Not gonna lie. That's my first, just because these are dark. I could do dark gray. I have some gray ones. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get some gray ones because it would be three, one, two, and three. And then what else, if anything, do I want on here? Let's see. The sentiment is already there. I could use a chipboard heart and put there there is a dark green one that would work just to have here or could i put it would it be better here oh look here's a light one <laughs> squirrel put one there i'm not sure and the wood green one okay i kind of like that this this some gray enamel dots. There we go, some gray ones. So I will use the darker ones, I think. I don't know that any of them are really darker. All right, I am gonna use my glue, because I most likely, no, I will. I will want this to stay. And I will put down the chipboard hearts with glue also. Okay, so we're gonna go with medium and small. There we go, medium and a medium and a small. Okay, and then the chipboard, I like that. Don't really wanna put a sentiment on here because there's already words on here. I'm almost just wondering if maybe I should have switched them up. Come on, Jen. I feel like, oh, stay. The glue hasn't dried. Yeah, the bigger one should always go towards the bottom and gradually go to smaller. Almost like when you're doing water bubbles. Okay, I like that. Now, what do I do with that wax paper? Because this is still sticky, I will just take this piece of wax paper, because it's just gonna go in my little kit, right? And there's our first piece of ephemera. Okay, so that one's done. Now what would I like to do? Mm, should I build off another something something? I could also, let's bring this back over here. I could create a tile. Kind of like this wood element. I don't really care for this stem though, or this, you know, my heart is yours, which we did use hearts. Should we build off of that? Use that as a base? Eh, no wrong way, right? My heart is yours. Okay, here's a heart, it's green. Um, we'll just start there. I'm going to get a piece of wax paper for these two and see where it leads us. Just have some fun. All right, let's use this one. Okay. And I do cut them a little bit long. I mean, that's that's okay. 
I'm all right with that. Let me pull my base page up here. Cover this up before I make a disaster. How many of you are like, cover up your ink, Ginger? You're gonna have an issue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I got this one. Um, what else do I got in here? There's a light one. Ooh, I like that one. I like this one. Okay. And then I will make a bigger one. I kind of like the flowers part. We don't know how that's gonna end up. So I think I'm gonna use this scrap because on my base page, I used the darker one on this one and the strip here is, so I'm gonna use the lighter one. So I'll fishtail this one. And, oh no, where did I, there they are. <laughs> they missed a beard. Finish tail this one. Hmm, I don't like how that turned out. Oh, I'm gonna cut my flowers. Oh well, just use this end. End up cutting that on. Maybe I can squeeze it in something else, who knows. That happens sometimes, okay. So this one, should I use two or should I go with the three? Mm, I like three, it makes me happy. So, super easy to do. This is a fun way to just be creative and not overthink it, okay? So let's see what we can do here. Now, I think I want this one to go this way because I have that one going that way. I'll switch it up just a hair. Okay, this one going this way. Then I think I want the round element. Kind of liking that. Okay. I am gonna turn it so that it's this way though. And I will use, I don't want this, or though, ooh, I could. I could make a banner thing, oh, new plan. All right, <laughs> it happens sometimes, we're just creating. All right, I gotta fishtail the other ends, but this is gonna have to go this way. Okay, so, haha, <laughs> that couldn't have worked better. I might have to cut down the other one though, okay. There's that one. I am gonna have to cut this one down. Oh my goodness, <sighs> the drama. I think, mm, which one do I like? I like this one. Yep, I'm just gonna do two. Okay, so I need this one to be right, there goes my flowers or I can cut this end. Let's just go here, I'm just eyeballing it. No wrong way. Not even for me. Nope. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I know this is a bunch of jumbling, and you're probably going, get to it. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go like this and make myself a banner. There we go. All right, now I could put a sticker across here. Hmm, that leads me to other things going on. Let's see what we have on here. Okay, oops, I got things coming apart over here. Could put sweet across there instead of that. Because remember how I said I wasn't sure I even like that? Ooh, I like that better. See how that's going? And then we could tuck a pretty moth, fly, butterfly, <laughs> but I'll ink this. I think I will ink the edges of this and this. Put one there, just like that. And do the only other question I have for myself is do I want a flower? And I think I do because I got flowers here. So I'm going to use this one instead. 
Hmm. Or should I use this one? I can, uh, no. Let's see here. Ooh, that works. Just like that. Okay, so here's what I have to do. Put that on there. I need to ink, ink, and ink. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and I'm gonna use, oh, do I wanna use brown? And then I'm wondering, should I not ink these? <laughs> because I'm inking these. No, I'm not gonna ink. I am going to ink the banners. Okay, now that I've figured out what I'm gonna do, I am going to ink the banners. And I'm going to ink the edges of the suite. Because I don't want to go back and redo those. <laughs> because I know myself. If I ink the flowers, I'm going to want to ink them on that one. And I already like that one. Okay, so there's that. There's this. And I'm not, I am going to let the sticker kind of hold it together. Because what if when I'm doing it, I want to build on this? It's a base. It's a cluster base. So that's how I view them. If I decide not to, that's okay. I can glue it then, right? So let's put a little bit of temporary adhesive. Using up a branding strip, that makes me happy. Oops. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I would like it to look straight <laughs> to the naked eye, right? Okay. Oh my goodness. My hands are shaking today. Probably should go eat something, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to stay here and play. Okay, so then I'm going to put this like this. I am going to ink this. So let's gently peel this off. It's one good thing about card stickers, you can do that. And carefully, just, just a little bit, you'll see the difference here. I'm not going to... I'm just getting, literally just getting that edge. Not gonna get all heavy duty or nothing. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna put this across here. Okay. And now this, I'm gonna put a little bit of temporary adhesive on as well. Because again, I wanna be able to still tuck. I like the branch hanging off. Let's see, how did I have it? Just like that? Yes, not with this. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I could add another one to it if I wanted to. Like that, no, I'm not going to. Okay, so there's number two. Okay, is anything sticky? It is, so I'll take a small piece of the wax paper. You know, there is a part of me though that kind of wants to go like this. Oh, look, see, yeah, that has to happen. Now I need a bigger piece of wax paper. <laughs> well, that's okay, we always got wax paper laying around. Okay, so, that's what I ended up with. I have to put another enamel dot inside of there and I need to get a heart on here because I'd like each element to have a heart. Okay, so there's number two. And we'll do one more. I always like to do sets of three. What can I use for a base? I do, Where? what did I do with the wax paper that had the heart on it still? Right here. So I will include that in there. I know I want that. And that's fine. All these moss will go in there. Okay, so we have sweet, be happy in the moment. This one says in the moment. Should we maybe try to incorporate that with a moth and some flowers and some banners? Should we, should we? Okay, I got a banner. Hmm, let me see. Um, I'm just looking to see if I can use something as a base to have a banner come off of. All right, so now I know this is, I don't know what I, oh, my enamel dots just fell on the floor. Okay, so 
I, I don't want this tag to show. I know that, but I'm just going to use this. It could go this way even because that flower is going that way. I don't want the flower to go upside down. And this needs to be very minimal. So I'm going to go like this, let that stick to it. And let's just use, I kind of like this one. What it, I could use this right there. Um, yeah, okay. And I'll banner, I think I'm gonna go this side, to be honest. Uh, then that'll be upside down. I guess I'm stuck with this side. Okay, ouch, I just stabbed myself with the scissors. <laughs> Wounding myself over here. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's better. Maybe. You never do this. Every once in a while, I just get, try to go too fast or something, and I make a mess. All right. So, oops. Peel that off. And I'm going to go just like that. I like that. Okay. And... We can go in the moment like that. Use this cute little clip chipboard. It'll cover up the part of the tag that I don't want. Okay. And let's see what we got for flowers. Now I don't have any flowers left on my sticky. I have these large ones, but we can always cut them down. This chipboard's gonna go in my packet. Definitely. Um, this is another piece of chipboard, another heart in the moment. Come on, Jen. It'll come together. It will. Hmm. It's awfully big. That's the part that's bothering me is that it's so big. I could though. No, it needs to be smaller. Go like this and I could put it. Okay. Just gonna tear it. Yep, it's mine. I can do what I want with it. I will have to ink these. Okay, just like that. This like this. Okay, I'm liking that. Maybe I should go this way. Oh yeah. We'll figure out something. We'll get a moth or something back there. Okay, I'm liking that. What if I put that heart back there? Oh yeah, that's happening. Do I have another color heart? I could maybe even layer them. No, it needs to go back there. But I can put it, okay. I'm getting too many stickers and they get harder to do. So I'm gonna take these off and ink them. Now, I want this to go on there just like that. I want this like this. Okay. This might have to come out. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure yet. All right. Then I want this like this. Definitely like that. Now, where is this little booger going to tuck in? Here. And then I think I'm going to take a small sticker and put on the corner another heart. Mm. Okay, like that, like that. This needs to go here, like that. In the moment, see there? It's coming together, it's coming together. I need a little one, a little one. Is there a little one? Maybe even a chipboard one? Ooh, there's this one. That one's a little big though. This one's a little smaller. Okay, set that on the wax paper. I gotta get a moth in there. I want a moth in there. That might work. Ooh, okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit higher. That's all right, okay. Got the heart. Put a couple of enamel dots that I dropped on the floor. <laughs> to get. Ta-da! Let's put one on here. 
just like that. So there's that one. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I will show you them on the, just sitting with the base page and I'll have a baggie together. So I'll be right back. So here's where we're at. I think it matches really well with the page. Um, now keep in mind, it there's going to be photos on this page. Um, I can pull in a journaling block. You know, I have those ones that I kept. I honestly think that would look really good. But here are the little clusters that I made and they will go in my baggie inside. Now there's gonna be a glare. I have the leftover little moths. I have some more enamel dots, the same ones that I used on there. I have this piece of chipboard that's these flowers. And I will just put these inside, just like I did all the other times with the other three. And I will have myself a little embellishment bag to go with this base page. Now, from here, I will take all of these and I will put them in one big large bag and I will start creating layouts. So what I think I'm going to do is three of them I will do off camera. The next video for this kit, the um, vintage weather garden kit, I will do three of them off video, uh, but I will share them and one of them I will film and we will do together. So that is the plan for the next one and once I get this done, I'll use the next kit and do the same thing with the leftovers using the scraps. This is all I have left. So thanks for joining me. If this is your first time, I'd be so honored if you would like and subscribe and come and hang out with me again. Have a blessed day, y'all. Thank you for you, and I will see you later. Bye.